Shalom. Before I start, I want to give all honors and glories and praises to Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Mahavah Kakwadash, Yahweh, which is the one and true name of the Heavenly Father, Yahweh Shai, who the world eagerly calls Jesus Christ, but his one and true name is Yahweh Shai. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone, because those are the men who I learned this truth from through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Shai. Peace, blessings, salutations to the whole full lake. Shalom to you, sincere brother, scattered abroad, pushing forth this word in truth and sincerity. I am Mashiach Arazaka from the tribe of Gad, come through the spirit. And pretty much there's a woman that commented on my comment board off of my lesson. And um, <clears throat> she basically was scoffing. All right. She called me a false prophet. Like, you act like that's hurting my feelings. She called me a false prophet. And then she just made a lot of bold statements on my comment board. And I said it before and I'll say it again. If you are a woman... Do not make any bold comments or say anything on my channel. I just said that three or four times already. If you are a woman, do not comment on my comment board unless you say Shalom. Don't make no bold statements on my comment board. Don't post no scriptures on my comment board. All right. Don't don't say nothing. Just say Shalom and that's it. Here you go. There's always a bugged out woman. This woman's bugged out. She's a scoffer and she's bugged out. All right, I'm not going to make this too long because I'm on a plantation. I was supposed to do a lesson earlier, but a lot of things was going on here where I was at earlier. I was doing a lot of other stuff. So I finally, through the spirit, got time to do this lesson. So Lord will let this world will and this lesson is edifying. So like this woman name is Maria Buckley. All right. And this is what she said. She She's bold enough to comment on my comment board. Where is your husband? Before I even start the lesson, where is your husband at? Why are you commenting on another man's comment board? Where's your husband? All right. Bugged out. Maria Buckley. She said, false prophets are everywhere, even you. And those who claim they are chosen. Well, we are chosen. According to the scriptures. Let's bring that out. Because she said, those who claim they are chosen. We're chosen. The Lord the Lord chose us. You want to get mad? Get mad at the Most High. Get mad at the Bible. This is in the scriptures. 1 Corinthians 7 and 6. For thou art a holy people unto the Lord thy power. The Lord thy power have chosen. See? The Lord thy power have chosen thee to be a special people unto himself. Above all people that are upon the face of the earth. So the so-called Negroes, Hispanics, and Native American Indians that's dwelling amongst the earth today, that's scattered abroad throughout the four corners of the earth, we are the chosen people of the Most High. We're not claiming we're chosen. The, the scriptures say we're chosen. You want to get mad, get mad at the Bible. It's out of the scriptures. Everything we say is out of the scriptures. So how's that being a false prophet? Deuteronomy 7 and 6, For thou art a holy people unto the Lord thy power. The Lord thy power have chosen thee to be a special people unto himself above all people that are upon the face of the earth. So the so-called Negro, Hispanic, and Native American Indians were above these 17 heathen nations. The Lord created 18 nations, but he's only dealing with one specific nation out of the 18. All right. And those are the Israelites, the 12 tribes of Israel. All right. So we're not claiming to be chosen. We're chosen. It's in the scriptures. Let's get another precept. Let's go to 2 Peter. Uh, one and nine, actually two and nine, and maybe First Peter, First Peter, Salakia, First Peter, uh, two and nine, First Peter two and nine. It says, "But ye are a chosen generation." This is out of the Bible, and this is in the New Testament. Maria Berkeley. So read this, First Peter two and nine. But ye are a chosen generation, royal priesthood, a holy nation, a peculiar people. That ye should know, that ye should show forth the praise of him who have called you out of it, called you out of darkness into his marvelous light. So we are the Lord's chosen people. We're a special people. Because that word peculiar right here, you see that word right there, peculiar? When you go into the meaning of peculiar, and actually I'll get it for you real quick. When you go into the meaning of the word peculiar, and this is online entomology dictionary, by the way. All right, this is this is out of this is out of the dictionary. When you go into the meaning of that word peculiar that I just showed you in the scriptures, it says peculiar. It says belonging. Listen to this: belonging exclusively to one person, 
See? So special, peculiar. You see that? Also special, peculiar. I thought it said so there, but it said also. So like it. Peculiar. Belonging exclusively to one person. Also special, peculiar. So we're special people. On to the most high. All right? We're a chosen people. The Lord chosen us to be a special people onto himself. Peculiar. So that cuts what you're talking about. I just had to get that out. Then she said, Masonic Jews, those who are in denial, stating they're pure Hebrew Israelites. I don't understand what you mean by pure Hebrew Israelites. I don't understand that. She said, Paganism cults. Islam, Christianity, Hinduism, Buddhism, etc. You're absolutely right. Those are religions. Religion. The word religion means to divide and conquer. All right. Religion. If you're in Christianity, uh, Islam, Hinduism, Buddhism, uh, Seven Day Adventist, Jehovah Witness, Baptist, that's un all under the 501c3 charter. So I believe you. That is paganism. But me being a Hebrew Israelite, I don't have a religion. I have a heritage. Isaiah 58 or verse 14. We have a heritage. The so-called Negroes, Hispanics, and Native American Indians are dwelling amongst the earth today. We have a heritage. The Bible, which means books, means book. All right? Because that's what Bible means. Book. All right? When it says Holy Bible, the word holy goes into the Hebrew word of, uh, I believe it's uh, Raka. All right? Which means holy. All right? And that word book, the word Bible means books. All right. So when you go into the meaning of the word Bible, it means books. All right. So the Bible is a, is a, is our heritage. It's a, it's our history of the so-called Negro Spank Native American Indian man do on the earth. All right. It's our history. It's our heritage. That's what the Bible is. It's our heritage. All right. We don't have a religion. The word religion was established. All right. Going back to Constantine. All right. If you look up Constantine Maria Berkeley. He the one that came up with the Council of Nicaea. Look it up. That's where you get religion, freedom of religion, all these different religions, Judaism, Hinduism. You get all that. That's paganism. That all goes into the satanic worship. All right. It goes off of the all satanic worship. But me being a Hebrew Israelite, we don't fall in that con we don't fall in that category because we have a heritage. And let me get out the scripture for you. It says Isaiah. And you can read this. If you don't believe me, if you got a Bible, go in your room and read it. This is Isaiah 58 and verse 14. So like it. Isaiah 58 and verse 14. And you can go in your room if you got a Bible and read it. It says Isaiah 58 and 14. Then shall thy delight thyself in the Lord. Anytime you see Lord in caps, it's talking about the Heavenly Father, Yahweh. And I will cause thee to ride upon the high places of the earth. And feed thee with the heritage of Jacob thy father, for the mouth of the Lord have spoken it. So there you go. We have a heritage. We don't have a religion. All right? That word religion means to divide and conquer. We don't have a religion. So you're right about paganism cults of Islam, Christianity, Hinduism, Buddhism, uh, uh, apostolic. Uh, 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 what else out there? Uh, uh, Jehovah Witnesses. All right? Judaism. That's all under... The 501c3 charter, all right? But me being a Hebrew Israelite, listen to me again. Me being a Hebrew Israelite, I don't have a religion. I have a heritage, all right? We have a heritage. That's a difference. A religion is something totally different. That's under the 501c3 charter. I'm not under no 501c3 charter. The men who I learned the truth from are not under no 501c3. We teach everything according to the Bible, all right? Great Millstone, who are the men that I learned this truth from, have the 100% truth. Everything they teach is exactly accordingly to the to the Bible, man. It's according to the scriptures. All right? So, hey, you calling me a false prophet? That's your that's that's your opinion. It's not hurting me none. It just lets me know that I'm an Israelite. It lets me know that I'm doing the right thing. Because this is what the scriptures say. When you do what you say... And let me get, if I see if I can get that precept out. Let me get it out. So like, Maria Berkeley... By you calling me what you did, calling me a false prophet and all that, that just lets me know that I'm doing the I'm doing I'm doing the righteous acts. I'm doing the Lord's work. Because Yahweh Shai, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ, he was being persecuted just how you persecuted me. 
You're calling me a false prophet. It ain't hurting me none. It's just showing me that I'm walking in the ways of my power. You how about my shy? And them demons is fucking with you. This is 2 Timothy 3 and 12. All right? 2 Timothy 3 and 12. It says, Yea, and all that that live godly in Yahweh Shai HaMashiach shall suffer persecution. And that's what, that's what I'm dealing with. That's what mainly our elders are dealing with. That's what I'm dealing with right now. You're persecuting me because you're calling me a false prophet. You came just slandering, being out of order. The scriptures say, let all things be done decently and in order, man. All right? Let me get that out for you. Let me get that out for you real quick. This is uh, 1 Corinthians 14.40. This is 1 Corinthians 14.40. It says, let all things be done decently and in order. And what you did was out of order. Don't say no bold statements on my comment board. Don't post no scriptures up on my comment board. Don't do any of that. You were supposed to say Shalom and that's it. No, you just had to come up here and play bug out demon alert. You just had to be a damn demon. You just had to be a damn demon. You just had to say something. Let's see what the scriptures say. 1 Corinthians 14 40. And you Israelite women that tune into this video, I'm talking about you women that are claiming to be in the truth and you bugged out and you just say bold comments. Listen to this scripture. 1 Corinthians 14 40. Let all things be done decently and in order. Let all things be done decently and in order. What you just put on my wall is out of order. It's out of order. It's out of order. All right? So I'm not going to keep this lesson any long. I'm on a plantation. I just had to do this rebuking lesson. All right? You're a bugged out woman. You need to go get your husband. You need to learn from your husband. Stay off of my channel. All right? You're going to be blocked anyway after this. Because this is just madness that you're doing. So I'm in it there with that. Low ones, that's what's edifying. Till next time, I say Shalom. And to you Israelite women out there, do not post no scriptures on my comment board or, or state any bold statements on my comment board. So with that, I say Shalom.